let's you and I talk about something that's been on a lot of people's minds lately. Buying a home anywhere in Los Angeles in this current market? Dude, are you out of your mind? LA is so expensive. Did you see this LA Times article about people who live in LA are ready to leave because of insane rents and high real estate values? You probably know somebody who's already left or thinking about it. I do. I think about it every day, especially when I'm on the 405. The 405 is gonna be totally jammed, and I'll have to take Lincoln all the way up to Washington Boulevard. It also goes to say that renters tend to spend more of their income on every month than owners. Ouch. Maybe you've seen some of the headlines, like higher interest rates, and you're wondering, is it really the right time? I mean, and let me tell you, if you can qualify for a loan and you can afford to buy here in the South Bay, Los Angeles, you know, Manhattan Beach, Hermosa Beach, Redonda Beach, you know, all these amazing areas, there are still some compelling reasons to consider buying a home now. Reason number one is home values are a long-term investment. There's a misconception that home prices are about to plummet, especially if you're on YouTube. My neighbor just told me it's going to drop like a rock and then it's going to... Not true. Nationally, the trend is clear. The home values typically go up over time and they're continuing to do so. Take a look at this graph. See that steady incline? This data is from the Federal Reserve. It shows the price of climb for 60 years with a single exception during the 2008 housing crisis. Now, currently here in the South Bay, the real estate market, of course, we're not seeing any long-term decline in values. There's been some adjustments in some sub-markets, but there's no crash here. No. And then you crash. No, there was no crash. Here's the thing. When you buy a home, you build equity as you pay down your mortgage and also as property values rise. So that equity is like money in the bank. It increases your net worth over time. And the key is over time. The Urban Institute even says, Home ownership is critical for wealth building and financial stability. Now, I know, saving up a 20% down payment can seem daunting in these price points, but the good news is it's not always necessary. There are several loan programs available for qualified buyers that will allow you to put down as little as 3.5% for FHA, as well as 5% or 10%. Yes, you will have a higher payment, but yet these programs can help you get into your dream home sooner and start building equity. Of course, with a lower down payment, you'll likely have to pay private mortgage insurance, PMI, if you ever see that, but it's a cost you can reevaluate later as your equity grows in the home, you can get rid of it. Ultimately, the key is to find a program that hits your financial situation, allows you to afford the monthly mortgage payment. Reason number two is rent is a money pit. Buying is an investment. This is a peach pit. Are you tired of throwing all your money on rent that just keeps going up? Yeah, who isn't? Oh my God, my landlord just bought a new Corvette. Hmm, how much is a new Corvette? <gasps> I had no idea. Data from iProperty Management shows that rents have been steadily increasing for decades with no end in sight. And in your experience, I mean, have you seen rental prices drop significantly across the South Bay, Los Angeles? Okay, open up your calculator app, do a rough guesstimate of how much money you spent on rent in the last five years, 10 years. How long have you been renting? Add it up. Okay, great. You had a great place to live, or well, maybe even not so great place to live, but what else do you have from renting besides memories? And how much cash did you spend for that location and those memories? Here's the beauty of buying. With a fixed rate mortgage, your housing cost is stable. So no more annual rent hikes from your landlord. The only time that payment will go up is if your taxes or your insurance goes up. Those monthly payments become an investment in your future building equity in your own place. Now fast forward yourself 10 years from now and how much equity do you have versus the last 10 years? You know, if you can figure out how to do it now, your future self will thank you. That Daryl Palmer, he can see into the future. Dad, where did you come from? From the future, almost 10 years ago. <laughs> Thank you again for helping me buy this place 10 years ago. Hi, why are you dressed like that? What? This? Oh, it's how we dress 10 years from now. <laughs> why didn't we think of this sooner? 
hey, good job on getting it into that home 10 years ago when things were cheap. <laughs> Chap, this was expensive 10 years ago. Dude, you have no idea. I gotta go, but oh, by the way, eat a ton of spam because it turns out that spam has age reversal properties. Speaking of properties, I'm selling all of Elsa Gunner to the space monsters. <laughs> I gotta go. Dr. Je Jessica Louts of uh, Economist and National Association of Realtors puts it perfectly. If you're financially stable, buying makes sense. The bottom line is don't wait on your dream home. Look, if, you, if you're ready to stop renting and build lasting wealth, buying a home in the South Bay, Los Angeles is a fantastic option, but expensive. I do love the botch. Our beach communities offer an incredible lifestyle, you know that, and with the right guidance, hopefully you can find a home that fits your budget and your dreams. Better, we have tons of options. Wait, where are my suggestions? Now, are you ready to explore your options? Text me or email me at the number below or here, and then just say the word ready and I'll get back to you. I'm your South Bay, Los Angeles expert who's here to help you get your needs and find the perfect house for you that you can call home. Send this to someone who needs it and don't forget to like and subscribe, you know, for more South Bay LA real estate tips and fun things to do. Oh, you mean like going to a